All right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be drawing a pumpkin with some Zentangle patterns. So let's get going. All right, as you guys can see on this pumpkin right here, um, there's a little bit of a, of a divide with the texture when it comes to these rivets uh, going from around the shape of the pumpkin. Um, so what we're gonna do is draw something based on that and in these little sections, we'll do Zentangle patterns. So it might sound confusing, but it'll make more sense once I start. So anyways, we're gonna need a piece of paper and something to draw with, and that's it. Uh, coloring is always optional for this project in particular, but um, let's just get going. So first step, what you're gonna need to do is um, you're gonna need to have the paper horizontal, just like this. And then I'm gonna be using Sharpie, that way it turns out better on camera, and you guys can see it better at home. So here I go. So what you're gonna draw first is the stem. When I'm drawing the stem, I'm gonna make sure that the pointy end right here is just gonna have a little bit more of like a texture feel to it. So I'm just gonna create little humps like that. And then I can go up. And then I can kind of close it off any way I want with zigzags or something. And then for texture, all you're gonna do is kind of create um, these like little vertical lines like that. Cause that's how pumpkins really feel. Uh, I have real pumpkins upstairs, but uh, I don't really feel like bringing them downstairs here in the basement. Um, so here we go. So once you have the stem, it's relatively in the middle and on top. Um, I want you guys to draw somewhat of a banana that's like nice and straight. It sounds weird, I know, but just trust me on this one. So here I go. So here is a flat banana, just like so. And notice how the bottom of this banana is curved. That's important. So now we have to build out so it looks more like a pumpkin, right? So let me show you guys how you're gonna do this. You're gonna use these two points right here. You're gonna use this point right here and this point right there. And you're gonna keep going back and forth and meeting to this point. But there's gonna be a point where you can't do that anymore and I'll explain why. So what we're gonna do, go from here, curve out, make sure it's equal distance away and then come back right there. Can you kind of see what's gonna happen? So all we're gonna do, go on the other side, curve the opposite way and then come back. So you're gonna keep doing this. Go out and come back until you have a certain amount. I'll let you guys know that once I'm done. So there's gonna to come to a point where you can't like really go from point to point anymore because it starts going underneath the pumpkin. So you're gonna to have to start going uh, beside your previous uh, thing. So let me just do one more right here. So again, it goes out. And then as I go back, I can't go underneath, so I want to go beside what I just did. That way it's like nice and flat, okay? Uh, this will probably be my last one going from this point on top. Go around. And again, I can't go over here, so I'm gonna have to stop somewhere over here now. That way it doesn't look so weird. So anyways, uh, this is a pretty good sized pumpkin right now, so I can kind of stop. Um, so if you wanted to keep going, um, just keep going the same thing. Just make sure you go outwards, not uh, go in this direction and that direction. Okay, so now I have, uh, with that many, I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I only have seven sections, and that's all I'm requiring for this project. If you want to do more sections, that's fine. And that's also including more work for you guys. Uh, so what you're gonna do is um, take some coloring supplies, or again, like a pencil, or just the material that you had to draw this. And I want you guys to draw at least seven or more Zentangle patterns. Um, I'll have a couple examples uh, spread out on the page right here if you wanna pause the video so you guys can see them, you can. Um, but otherwise, I'm just gonna go ahead and do some Zentangle patterns. And it could be as easy or as difficult as you would like. And we'll go from there. Um, some people I've seen do is that they've stuck with the theme of fall. So if you wanna do that, you can. If you wanna stick with fall themed colors, you can. But basically, I just want you guys to zone out and have fun with this project because it's good for you. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get going. So if you wanna copy me, you can. Otherwise, I'll see you guys at the end of the video.
done um if i wanted to go back and shade a little more to add more detail i could have but um i think i'm gonna leave it the way it is because i think i like it a lot uh so if i were to continue this more i'd probably do a light shading of colored pencil or crayon on top of it to give it more uh color on it but anyways that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoy this project and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye